Today I'm going to be speaking to you guys as to how you know forex traders can go about making money from the forex market without actually having to trade. It's actually crazy, right? Um, what prompted me to do this video was I saw um, somebody send me a message on Instagram and um, was saying to me that uh, hello sir, uh, I'm a forex trader. However, I'm quite good at what I do, but I'm not just making enough money from the market because. I don't have that much capital and you know my returns are not so fantastic although I'm profitable but my returns are not so fantastic so I was like hmm so then I started to think about you know ways that forex traders can actually go about making money from the forex market or rather how forex traders can go about getting a job within the forex industry without actually having to trade all right guys, so the first way you can go about making money or rather the first way you can go about getting a job as a forex trader within the forex industry is by looking at investment banks. Now, I remember um, whilst I was in first year of university, I must have, because the, my plan was to um, become an investment banker. That was my passion. I just wanted to be an investment banker because investment bankers make so much money. So I attended an investment banker's career fair whereby I had a lot of people that were my, you know, my contemporaries. I think I was in about first year of university at the time. They attended the career fair with me. The, most of them was probably studying economics, physics, math, all the finance related courses they were studying. But as time went on, after the, the, the event was done, I realized that um, obviously, so we started networking and we started interacting. And I noticed that all the banks, so about 11 banks were the, you know how carry affairs get, get right, whereby you have so many organizations just around wanting to recruit, you know, young and bright minds. So I realized that most of the banks that were there were more interested in me as a person because I already knew how to trade. I was already trading. I wasn't a millionaire. I wasn't making crazy money, but I had a portfolio. I had a track record. At least I had tried. I understood what Forex was. I could interpret a price action chart. So they, they loved me. I remember getting about three offers that day. Um, people wanted us to call them back. I never really followed up because, you know, I just, that's when I actually decided to work for myself. I was like, I, I hate a nine to five. But for you guys who don't mind working for somebody else, all you need to do is go on LinkedIn, look for the, the top 30 investment banks in the world. Some of them are based in New York. They don't have to be based in, they don't have to be located where you are right now. They're, you know, just look for an investment bank. There are over 35 to 40 of them on LinkedIn. Just look for them. Some of them are based in New York, Dubai, um, Sydney, Paris, London, Toronto, all these really nice cities investment banks have their hqs there so all you need to do is go on linkedin go on their profile and go to the career section you will see that they're actually looking for traders it doesn't have to say i'm looking for a forex trader they never say that they're always looking for equities traders derivatives traders all sorts of traders but the truth the, 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 the fundamentals of trading still remain the same do you know how to read a chart most forex traders know well they, they might not be that great at reading a chart but they understand the basics of the chart that is a job opportunity for you so guys the first way you can go about getting a job as a forex trader in this industry is by approaching investment banks apply to them tell them hey i can trade put together a really nice portfolio um obviously of your trading it, you don't necessarily have to be a profitable trader just show them they just want to see that you started on your own Guys, they will rather take somebody who already knows how to trade than have to teach somebody from scratch. Take it from me. All right, guys. So the second way you can actually go about getting a job as a Forex trader within the trading industry is approaching hedge funds. Hedge funds are quite similar to what I just explained, which are investment banks. Um, hedge funds pretty much do the same thing, but they're a bit smaller than investment banks. It's the chances of you getting into a hedge fund is a lot higher than um, the chance of you getting employed by an investment bank. Not, not saying that you shouldn't go, about, go after investment banks, but hedge funds are pretty much within range for you. Hedge funds, the good thing about hedge funds is that they are pretty much located in your country or wherever it is you're watching this from. They're hedge funds all over the world. Literally, a fund can have maybe $2 million on their management and they're looking for a trader. You can apply to them. It's, trust me, it's a lot easier for you to get a job with a firm that is a hedge fund that is just starting up than to get a job in an investment bank. Not saying you should not try investment banks. 
I'm just saying this is another way you can go about getting paid to be a trader within the trading industry. So guys, the second way you can go about it is hedge funds. Hedge funds are um, financial institutions who trade on behalf of their clients. They have people invest in their fund and then they deploy these funds to different investment opportunities. Sometimes they allocate about 30% to the market. So if you're a market genius, if you're an analyst, you don't have to be a profitable trader. If you're an analyst, you can apply to these big banks, these big hedge funds, and they'll give you a job. Just be grounded. Do so. Now, guys, you need to do some home study. You need to do some work. Do some research. Improve. Brush up your trading, mate. And approach them. Say to them, hey, this is what I've been doing. Your portfolio doesn't even need to be that big. A thousand dollars portfolio. Just show them you've been able to return 35, 40% put it together over a period of 12 months just show them that you have tried guys it will make you stand out way way beyond anybody who's just way beyond a first class graduate who studied mathematics in harvard they will take you who has experienced the market because it's not the market is not theoretical it's practical okay they want people who have tested they've tried the market people who have tried and failed people who understand what market psychology is about what trader psychology is about who have experienced first-hand emotions of getting whooped by the market so guys the second way you can go about getting the job within this industry is by approaching hedge funds give them your cv and speak to them chances are that they're gonna give you what an opportunity all right guys so the third way you can go about getting a job within the forex industry is known as an avenue called consulting now guys this is the category i fall under most of the time i trade for myself i trade for clients but i do a lot of consultation so what I'm doing right now is I'm consulting, right? I consult for clients. I tell them this is my opinion of the market. If you scroll down to my channel, you will see that I always put out um, I always put out analysis, right? So I come on here, I analyze the market, I consult. Most of this analysis gets sent off to very wealthy individuals who trade based on my analysis. Obviously, I'm a very good trader. I've been doing this for about. Um, I've been doing this for about eight to nine years now. So it's only natural for my analysis to be spot on. But what it is, is I put together these clients and I send them across to various investors who um, are affiliated with myself. I consult for them and I show them, hey, this is what I feel the market is going to do. At this point, feel free to buy. This is where your stop loss should be. And this is where you should take out your profit. And what happens is that most of my investor um, clients that I consult for end up making a profit so what they do after they make a profit is they send me a percentage of their profit and I'm, you know, I'm just happy to send me all this money and I'm just chilling. I just sit right here, open up my charts, do my analysis, dispatch it out to everybody. Everybody makes money and then they cut me a commission and everybody's happy. So this is another way you can go about making money as a forex trader without the for within the within the trading industry without actually having to trade and this is absolutely fine i know a lot of analysts out there who do the same thing so guys do not be discouraged if you're not making crazy money from the market there's still a chance for you all right guys so the fourth way you can go about getting a job within the forex market uh, without actually having to be a profitable trader is known as being a contributor if you go on various blogs, if you go on various um, trading websites, you tend to see a lot of this analysis. Some of, most of them are trash anyways. Uh, most of them are trash. But if you know how to analyze the market, you can potentially approach these blogs and tell them, hey, this is my analysis. Um, they work out pretty well. Um, can I be a contributor on your blog? What starts to happen is when people go on these blogs and then they see your analysis and your analysis actually helps them, um, trade more profitably what happens is that the contributors not the contributors the owners of the blog start to pay you per hit they pay you per how many people view your posts your analysis and that's how you start to make money just by all you need to do is just open up the charts analyze and then post on the blogs and just feed your information provide value it's all about providing value and having people pay you back in return for your value all right, guys, so the fifth way you can go about making money or getting a job as a forex trader within the forex trading industry 
is by working for a brokerage firm. There are so many Forex brokers out there, guys. Forex brokers need staff. Now, you already understand how to trade. You know how everything works. You can put together your CV, tell them, I can work for you as an account manager. I can I work for you as a sales manager. I can work for you in advertising and marketing. Once you know how to trade, just take on, add some more skills to that. And then you can approach these um, brokers and say to them, hey, I'm already well, trust me, they would rather take an account manager who already knows what Forex is about and who can trade the market profitably as opposed to an account manager who knows nothing because most of these brokers have to train their staff anyways. So they'll rather take you who already knows how to trade the market. They'll rather take you over the next guy. So guys, your Forex skill is very, very crucial and you can also help people plan events. The Forex people are always planning events every now and then up and down the whole place guys all of what i've said today if you actually sit down and like actually try all this strategy i've told you guys you will actually get picked up you can actually you will actually get a job within the forex industry without having to trade profitably for yourself so guys i hope i've been able to provide you guys value um, i hope you guys understand that you can actually make money from this industry without actually trading the forex market so guys Kindly drop me a comment below if you found this video helpful and don't forget to smash that subscribe button and drop a like if you found this video helpful. Alright guys, so I'll catch you in my very next video. Take it easy and peace out. Bye.